Okay, so in this video, we're going to be looking at trig graph interpretation. This question is adapted from a past examination question at grade 12 level. It says in the diagram below, the graphs of f of x equals to sine bx and g of x equals to minus cos x are drawn for the domain minus 90 to 90. Use the diagram to answer the questions that follow. We can clearly see that f of x, there's the graph f of x and that is sine bx. G of x is minus cos x and there's g of x there. It says write down the period of f. So let's look at this graph f. What do you notice? This graph is the graph of sine x. What do we know about a sine graph? Let's just look at the sine graph from 0 to 360. It looks like that, right? And it oscillates between, you no know, big word, oscillates between negative 1 and 1. Okay, so the minimum is minus 1, the maximum is 1. And that happens at the maximum at 90 and the minimum is at 270. And we said we're going to draw it from 0 to 360. Okay, so that will be 180. Okay, so it's important for us to know the basic shape of our sine graph, cos graph and tan graph. When I say basic graphs, know how the graph of y equals to sine x, y equals to cos x and y equals to tan x look like. You must be able to draw those graphs and know them well. So the period of f, if we have to look here, we can look, we can match it and see, okay, so it makes one full cycle from minus 60 to 60 and that is 60 plus 60 is 120 degrees. So the first answer is 120 degrees. So number one, the period of my sine graph f is equal to 120 degrees. Number two, determine the value of B. Once again, B is a part of the graph of f of x. Now let's look at how can we find B. Now if I look at this graph, I'm given two turning points. One is here at negative 30 and minus 1. The other one is at 30 and 1. So let's use this turning point to substitute into my equation. Remember that f of x equals to sine bx can be written as y equals to sine bx. So let's substitute the point that we found on the graph. So when we substitute 30 degrees and 1, that's x, that's y. So it will be 1 equals to sine b and my x value is 30 degrees. What must I now put in place of B such that my equation would balance out which means my left hand side will equal to the right hand side. And that is clearly B must equal to 3. Reason being sine of 90 is equal to 1. Okay, so therefore B is equal to 3. Question number 3. The general solutions of the equation sine BX equals to minus cos x. So they're equating both of those graphs. So they're giving us the answers of the general solution. They're telling us that it's x equals to 67,5 degrees plus k dot 190 or k dot 90 or x equals to 135 plus k dot 180 where k e z means k can be any integer value. Now the best way for us to do this would be for us to let's substitute 67.5 plus open and close bracket for the k times 90 degrees now let's go and substitute integer value so let's start off by putting negative 1 there and we get an answer of minus 22.5 now learners you'll see minus 22.5 is right here so that's now going to be one value minus 22.5 5 degrees is one intersection point. Let us now go and substitute another value. Let's put in 0. And you can see that it's 67.5. And you can see there's 67.5 there. So let's write down 67.5 there, degrees. So if I try to put any other values, it's going to go out of my domain. See? That's out of my domain, 157.5 degrees. So now it's time for me to put in the other equation. 135 
plus k is open and closed brackets times 180 degrees now let's go and put in a value if i put one there it's going to be out of the domain so let's just try and put negative one and see what happens minus 45 and there we go there's minus 45 here minus 45 so now I've got all three intersection points. So X equals to minus 45 degrees. X equals to minus 22.5 degrees. And X equals to 67.5 degrees. And those are my three intersection points. Okay, so let's look at question four. Let's look at question 4 and it reads, write down the values of x for which sine bx plus cos of x is less than 0 for the given domain. Note our domain is between minus 90 and 90. So let's write that down. Sine bx plus cos x less than 0. So what are they saying? They say sine b x must be less than if we move cos x to the other side it's minus cos x so if we just put their names now it will be where is f of x less than g of x so we're looking at where the graph of f of x is less than g of x and it means underneath so let's look at where f is underneath so it will be here and where else is the graph of f going to be beneath or underneath g? It's also going to be there between those. So that's the only places where f is below g. So now we can write our solution down. And for the first part of our solution, it will be x will be greater than minus 45 degrees and less than minus 22.5 degrees or we will get x which is going to be greater than 67.5 degrees and less than equal to 90 degrees the reason it's less than equal to 90 degrees is because at 90 degrees your graph of f is less than is less than the graph of g okay so just be careful of this last part okay so that's graph interpretation for you in a nutshell keep on practicing see you in the next video